Uh, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a different method that you can use uh, to reset Windows 10 password. Um, the method I used in the last video is not working for some of you, but if that's the case, uh, I would recommend you watch this video. Um, in this video, we're going to need the installation media. So once you have the installation media in the PC, change the boot quit sequence in the BIOS, and then let's do the following. We're, we're going to restart the PC. And we're going to boot it from the installation media. Remember that uh, if you do not have the installation media, uh, just download any ISO file from Microsoft and burn it to a CD, and uh, you should be good to go. So I booted the PC from the installation media over here, and one, once we get once we get to the uh, setup screen, um, so once we get to this window over here, we're going to press Shift Ten, Shift Shift F Ten to bring up this beautiful command prompt and I'm, go I'm going to change the directory to D drive. Uh, I'm going to list what I have here. So I know I know my Windows 10 machine is here because uh, I have users the Windows folder. So once you're here, um, we're going to change directory to Windows. Backslash system32. And over here we're going to rename two files. So the command is going to be ren, uh, and the file we're going to rename is util men that executable. And we're going to rename it to util men. We, I'm just going to add a one to it. Uh, you can put any name you want, but just make sure you remember because we need to put those files back to its original names. So util men one that executable enter. And we're going to rename the CMD the CMD file, which is the command prompt. So the command is going to be ren cmd that executable to util men that executable and press enter. So uh, once you do that, we're going to exit all this stuff over here. We're going to close everything. All right, so uh, once you get to this window here, we're going to uh, click this button here, the ESO boxes is on the uh, lower right corner. And then uh, look over here, we have this beautiful command prompt. And what we're going to do here, we're going to uh, activate the uh, built-in administrator account that is created automatically when, when you um, install Windows 10. So uh, the command is gonna be uh, net user um, administrator forward slash active column yes so what we're telling the system is that, that we want to activate that account that was created uh, automatically when we installed windows 10 so we click enter uh, and the command has a uh, completed successfully. So notice over here um, that I, I should have that account over here in the, in the bottom. Hold on. Uh, so we actually need to uh, restart the PC so we can get that user over here. So uh, let's re just restart it really quickly. So notice that right now we have the administrator account here, which is, this is a very powerful account. So we need to get into the system with this account and just reset the uh, PC admin account password. So uh, let's just select the administrator. Once we select that, we should be able to access the system because this account doesn't have any password. So since this is the first time I'm accessing the desktop, it will install some applications over here. So just give it a few minutes.
So, <clears throat> so we have now accessed the um, desktop, and what we need to do here, we need to access the control panel. So I'm just going to uh, hold the uh, Windows key plus X, and then I'm going to click control panel. I will click user accounts, user accounts, and I'm going to click manage other accounts. And I notice that I have two accounts here. I have the administrator account, which is the one that was created when we installed Windows 10, and I have the PC admins account. And I actually forgot the password for the PC ad admins. That's why I couldn't log into my PC. So uh, over here, we should be able to reset it. So I'm just going to click that account, and then I'm going to select change the password. And then you can just put any password you want. So I'm going to confirm the password. And then change the password. And then I'm just going to log out and see if it worked. Mm, administrator logged out. So I'm going, to, I'm going to try that new password that I created and see if it, uh, if it is going to work. So now I'm going to log in with the PC admins account and then I'm going to type the new password. So notice that uh, we have reset that password. A very easy way to do it, you know, you don't need to download any uh, uh, third party software that sometimes it could be dangerous for your computer because you don't know where you're getting that stuff from. So now, you know, it is up to you. You can keep that uh, administrator account activated or you can deactivate it. In my case, I don't need it. So I'm just going to deactivate that account. So I'm going to open the command prompt. Actually, uh, you know, since we renamed those files, we need to, instead of typing the CMD, we need to type the util men because, because that changed it, remember? Actually, I'm just going to do it a different way. So let's just log out of here. Uh, let's just log out. Uh, what is it? Uh, PC admin. Signed out. All right, so I'm going to uh, click the uh, ECO of access button so we can bring the command prompt. And I'm going to type the same command, which was uh, net user administrator forward slash active column no so we're telling the system that we want to deactivate that account so let's just press enter so once you restart the pc this uh, pc admin account won't be won't appear here anymore so all right guys this is uh, uh this is it for this video uh, if you want to learn how to rename the, those files back to the uh, original name, uh, make sure you watch the next video where we'll be using a different method uh, to reset the Windows 10 password. All right, guys. Thank you.